Hello guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all well. So, for today's video, I'm going to use a lure that my wife brought me for Christmas that I've not properly used yet. I used it during the winter time a little bit. Had a few fish in it, but I didn't really have too much confidence in it because it weren't really as prolific as I thought they were going to be. Um, so I thought I'll wait until winter's over with because obviously we know it's quite daunting and hard. And when the river season opens up again, I'm going to give it a proper go. So I've tried out the Strike Pro Mirus Mouse and it has been epic. <laughs> it is definitely a great lure for pike. Um, it's definitely built my confidence up and it's going to be going in my go-to lure box. Um, yeah, I've, I've had so many hits, landed a few pike. It's been really, really good. Although I've just noticed I have lost an eye. <laughs> Not good, is it? I've got plenty of them at home though from when I tie my fly, so I put one on. But yeah good thing about these mirrorless mouses is they are slow sinking so um, obviously this time of the year you've got a lot of grass and weed growth in the water you want to be above that if you can because otherwise you're just going to be raking in all the weed and the grass and you're not going to get the hits because they tend to not hit a lure with all that all that on it and then obviously in the winter you can add on your weight and get it down so slow sinking lures have always been my favorite it's pretty much all I use but um, yeah today's session is on the mirrorless mouse it's only about two hours worth of fishing, but um, it's been great. <laughs> Landed quite a few pike and lost a few as well, so awesome. Right, here comes the video, enough waffling, and I hope you enjoy it. Oh, the chub are on it today. First one. Okay guys, first fish to fall victim to the mirrorless mouse. <laughs> I only had it on for about five minutes and we got one on. Right, let's get it back and see if we can get some more. <laughs> Good fun. Just for a little pike follow that in, but <sighs> didn't look no bigger than the mouse, so I'm not gonna <laughs> mess about trying to catch it. If it gets on, it gets on. <sighs> the thing I like about these mouse is very, very slow sinking. So you can literally surface fish it if you want or add on a bit of weight and get it down to where you want. I pretty much only ever really use shallow lures. I pretty much only really use slow sinking lures. The reason for that is it gives you so much more variety than just sinking because obviously during the warmer months, you've got the weed, the grass, etc., growing in the water. You want to be able to stay above that. And then obviously in the winter, when it's not there and you want to get a bit lower, you can add on your desired weight. So for me, you'll mainly always see slow sinking lures. I also really like the uh, twin tail. It looks so good in the water. Now, I'll be honest with you, when I chucked this out, I weren't too sure. 
how a fluorescent lure is going to do when the water is pretty clear. But um, that's all the fun with lure fishing, isn't it? Experimenting, having fun. And if you get to a point of where you're not catching and you're on the blank, you go to your go-to lures and what you expect to catch, put them on and hopefully you can save yourself. But obviously, if you want to go out and just <laughs> catch a lot of pike, then you want to just use your go-to lures. But um, quite often, I like to change it up and just have a bit of fun with it because you can be pleasantly surprised and that's how you can add to your go-to lure box just finding out lures that seem to be really effective, when they're effective, how to fish them. There's so many different varieties. Bloody hell, a chub just went for this mirror's mouth. <laughs> uh, uh. That was a big pike, that one. Oh, that was a nice pike. I don't think that'll come back for this again. Yeah. Number one on the mouse. See that has nailed that side on. <sighs> Absolutely crushed it. <laughs> All right, let's get it unhooked. Sweet guys, this is not a bad pike. Caught on the mirror's mouse. Have a look at that absolute stunner. <laughs> Absolutely annihilated the lure, so happy. Right, I'm gonna get it back, see if we can catch some more. That is slaying it. My darling wife, bless her, brought me three mirrors mouses at Christmas. I've not really had the chance to use them. We used them a bit through the winter, as you've seen. Couldn't quite tell how prolific they'll be. Obviously, you know, winter fishing is quite hard, so uh, I thought I'd give it a good go um, once the river season opens up. And yeah, I tell you what, it's absolutely slaying. It's definitely going in my go-to lure box. Conditions are great, overcast. Feel a storm coming. I always seem to have good pike sessions um, coming when there's a storm on the way. Um, I know it's going to rain in the next hour or so, but uh, 
yeah, the mirror's mouth's doing unbelievable. Right, I'm gonna keep on going with it, probably for another about half an hour, see if we can get any more in it. Uh -huh. I've just changed my battery and I forgot to press record, but literally just after changing the battery, <laughs> first cast, we got a pike on. This one's only little. Because I haven't got the grass near me on this one, I'm going to get my mat out. Just a little one here. I'm not gonna get the tripod out because I'm on an uneven surface. I don't want to keep the pike out for too long. Come on, buddy. This mirror's mouse is absolutely killing it today. I've only been fishing for what an hour. It's absolutely shredding. <laughs> Love it. Love these sessions. Got through the hard spring. Ow. His tail is getting absolutely shredded. See that back end. <laughs> If you had that on camera, that absolutely smashed that through the top. <laughs> that was the gentlest take I've ever had, I think. And it got off. <laughs> Didn't even have a chance, to, well, I did have a chance to settle it down. I mean, uh, loosen the drag. That was funny. <laughs> oh dear. I can't wait to watch that one back again. It literally saw me, it still went for it, never got scared. It won't go for it again. Okay, guys, so that is the end of the session. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Strike Po Mirish Mouse. It is really good. I've got the bigger version as well, so I'll probably give that a proper go as well now. Um, if you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you do comment, as always, I'll come back to you when I can. Till the next one, guys. Tight lines, and I'll catch you later.